King Charles is gearing up for a return to public-facing royal duties after revealing his cancer diagnosis in February. Buckingham Palace shared an encouraging update about the monarch's health on April 26, announcing that on Tuesday the King and Queen Camilla will visit a cancer treatment center. A poignant engagement given his cancer battle as well as that of his daughter-in-law, the Princess of Wales, they will meet medical specialists and patients. Charles is not yet clear of the disease and is still undergoing treatment, but his medical team are understood to be pleased with the progress made so far and remain positive about his recovery. And in late June, they will host an incoming state visit by the Emperor and Empress of Japan. The palace added that the outing will be the first of several engagements planned for the king in the coming weeks, including hosting a state visit at Buckingham Palace for the Emperor and Empress of Japan in late June. As the king prepares to resume his public-facing royal duties, insiders close to the royal family suggest that Catherine, the Princess of Wales, harbors deep concerns about the pace and pressures that might accompany his return. As a senior member of the royal family, Catherine has always demonstrated a poised and thoughtful approach to both her public duties and her private life. Sources close to the family reveal that while she deeply respects King Charles' commitment to his role, she is also accurately aware of the potential health risk involved with a swift return to a full schedule of engagements. Catherine's concerns are not just about the physical health of the king, but also about the broader implications for the royal family's future. There is an understanding that the king's health could lead to greater responsibilities being shifted to other family members, including Prince William and Catherine themselves. The shift could significantly alter their current roles and increase their workload, impacting their family life and their own set of royal duties. As King Charles gears up for his return, the coming months will be critical in setting the tone for how the monarchy intends to address the health challenges of its current head. For Catherine, this will be a period of adjustment and possibly increased responsibility, but also an opportunity to reinforce the family's unity and resilience in the face of personal challenges. Medical experts suggest that balancing workload and stress is crucial for cancer patients, and the royal medical team is likely working closely with the king to map out a suitable schedule. Adjustments might include shorter public appearances, longer rest periods, or even virtual engagements to reduce the strain of travel. After beginning cancer treatment, King Charles postponed public duties but continued to work behind the scenes and undertake meetings, including small audiences at Buckingham Palace. However, a royal source previously told that the monarch's desire to work was wholly undiminished, with his nephew Peter Phillips revealing in an interview that his uncle was frustrated by his limitations. He is always pushing his staff and everybody and his doctors and nurses to be able to say. Actually, can I do this? Can I do that? Peter said. So the overriding message would be that he's previously very keen to get back to a form of normality and is probably frustrated that recovery is taking a little longer than probably he would want it to. Officials released a new portrait of Charles and Camilla looking happy and relaxed, taken earlier this month to mark the first anniversary of their coronation. In a statement, Buckingham Palace said, As the first anniversary of the coronation approaches, their majesties remain deeply grateful for the many kindnesses and good wishes they have received from around the world throughout the joys and challenges of the past year. Asked how the king was feeling, a spokesman replied that he was greatly encouraged to be resuming some public-facing duties and very grateful to his medical team for their continuing